So I recently acquired this iMac G3, this DV, uh, on Craigslist for $60. It is in great condition. I had to drive an hour to Key Largo, or at least the entrance of Key Largo, to go pick it up, but it was totally worth it. The inner bezel is intact, and I am not going to take this one apart um, until the very end when I have to make the conversion. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy... You know that is in, it's in great condition and it works so I thought well you know what let me use the output VGA that these things come with in the back and see if it I can hook it up you know to the modded version you know see if it'll detect the EDID information com coming from it and configure it correctly and so I just hooked it up and I'm going to turn it on for the first time so I hope this works Okay, so let me turn this guy on first. See the fans going. Okay, now I'm going to turn this guy on. Bad speaker. Luckily I have replacement speakers, so I'll have to fix that. Later on, when I do finally take it apart, well, I saw the screen flashing and oh my goodness! It sees it and it configured it correctly. Oh, this is exciting. So the one on the left seems to be a bit brighter than the one on the right. But that can be tweaked. Okay, so I was reading online that I can't use it as a second desktop. It would only do screen mirroring. That's fine. Now it does take a while to boot. I did boot it before. Not connected to this, but... So this may take a while. Now in the meantime, I guess let's inspect it a little bit. Oh, wait, something's gonna happen. So you can use this as a monitor. Once you've modified it for, you know, a Apple product, you can hook it up to a Mac Mini or something. And there we go. This is great. The mouse is working. Got a keyboard that came with it. It's missing a couple of keys, but that's fine. Wow. Let's see about this Mac. What do we got? That's what we have. Very nice. The image on the left looks a lot better, a lot cleaner than the one on the right. Now, what doesn't look right is the geometry up here. And that can be fixed. Uh, it's just a matter of tweaking uh, the initialization code, which I'll do later on once I receive uh, revision 2 of the J20 board. So nice, this is looking really good.